none of us can claim. You, our Father, has given us time to repent of our secret sin, and we turn to you today boldly seeking forgiveness with which we might be able to come before you, our just God, humbly admitting 
that we have sinned and come short of your glory. As we stand here today with a sadness in our heart because of the mistreatment of our brother in, a, in Minneapolis, Brother George Floyd, whose life was strangled out while he struggled, I can't breathe. And the city destruction which has taken place, we ask that you would calm the protesters allowing them to know that you are Lord, who know all secrets of the hearts of mankind. Lord, you who know the, our secret sin, that which the God of this world has placed before us, to cause us horrendous crimes to take place in a nation steeped in wisdom and bound with the knowledge of who you are. Help us forget those things which are behind us as we press toward the mark of the high calling of God. Father, we come to this place confessing that out of one blood you created all men equal and that there should be justice for all of your creatures. Our nation is also steeped in malice and envy and hatred and division that was designed to unify us as one nation are divided. You sent your son to die for the sins of the world and to redeem humanity and draw us back to you. We are all your purchased possession. Now we ask forgiveness for the ills that are plaguing our nation. Please put the love in our hearts that will cause each of us to be examples to the lost of, in our nation, that they will also learn how to lean and depend on you, that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly, that we as your body, the church, will experience the greatness of your faithfulness in every home, in every life, that no man will think of himself more highly than he ought knowing that you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall have eternal life. Without thought of race, creed, or color, take away any thoughts that divide your people, those things which causes one to fear. We are certain and assured that one thing, all things are passed away, and all things are become new. That spirit which speaks of the Christ inside. You have blessed us with every spiritual gift, gift and seated us in the heavenly realm in Christ Jesus, where there is neither Jew nor Gentile, bond nor free, black nor white. We are all become one new people blessed and covered by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, our perpetuation, advocate, Lord, Master, God and Keeper, with the Holy Spirit as our guide. Help us to love with our heart and not our lips only. Father, search my heart. If you find that spirit of difference, I ask you to you this last day of May 2020, to remove it and help me to understand that all humanity, all of humanity are made in your image and after your likeness. Help us to share love that does not disseminate. Lord, it is believed that if these come true, for which we pray today, our nation will rise to the top and we will better serve out our constant testimony that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, those protesters of disruption, uh, to understand the protest is to make that known when a change is needed in our nation, not to bring about disunity, but to show the world how negative thinking has been the sin that separates between humanity and God the solidarity of both white and black, being able to get it out of their system with compassion for each other, will bring about that peace which passes all understanding. We must remember 
while we were yet sinners, you sent your Son to save us. Jesus is our day spring in our heart, which gives us compassion for those who are mistreated or denied justice. God has called us out of the darkness which once lurked in our hearts, replaced with knowledge and understanding. Our seniors in nursing homes, in convalescent homes, as well as in general hospitals, home care, those especially susceptible to the coronavirus, help the caretakers to be faithful to you more than to their own understanding, that they will know you our overseer of all things, a special blessing on our school systems, administrators, teachers, students, homeschoolers, first responders, police forces, the essential workers, pastors and missionaries all over the world, those who are dedicated to you in spirit and are to protect all citizens, President Trump and his staff, who help those who recognize you as Lord, and please help those who are not, who are not careless in the expediting of their duty to understand that each person created is not hated by the enemy. He hates you, and know you said you would live in humans and be their God. We believe you have come to live in us, to protect us, if we submit to your will and live by your word. When we face the judgment seat of Christ, we desire to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the joys of your Lord. Lord, I pray earnestly to you, for I have family and friends of color who also live under the threat of violence until all humans come to realize that the enemy is the evil one. And if the body of Christ does not stand up for justice for all, the blood of many will be on our hands. We must also look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, knowing that for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Lord, I believe it is despicable to see many of the things that befall the people of color. And I also believe that many say this is not the time. When is the time? As a people of color, we are sick and tired of being sick and tired, treated as if we are not worthy to receive respect as a human being. I know some may not know what I've been through, but when I try to tell you as a Christian, why do you try to push me back and think I am wrong? Every person of color you meet is sick and tired of being sick and tired. And God is calling for his born again children to minister to those who are sick and tired and to help them rise above the injustice that are uh, pitched against them. Jesus, please save the lost. Make me a beacon light pointing, to the, pointing the lost to you. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Thank you for the opportunity to gather together the people of God. I know this morning that on behalf of the elders and on behalf of Brother James and myself, uh, we love you. But most importantly, God loves you. Love him back. Love him back. Love him back. He's worthy. Love him back.